On screen is a list of all items covered in this video and the requirements needed to do them. Any items handed to the player during this story will not be included. For the sake of clarification, the area covered in this video is highlighted on screen now. Okay, I saved this one for last because Mount Coronet is absolutely huge. So we're going to start off by flying on over to Orberg City and from the Pokemon Center make our way north into Route 207, up the mudslide, and into the cave uh, itself. Like I said, Mount Coronet is huge. There's a lot of stuff and I cut this video down as short as it possibly could be. So first thing we're going to do is make our way south, find the hidden revive over here. And at these uh, double staircases, we're going to go up the bottom one, surf across the pond to find a dawn stone. And then of course, we're going to surf our way back. And when we do that, we're going to go across the other staircase. And on this rock is a hidden stardust. From there, we're going to go back down the stairs and up to the upper left hand corner of the cave. On this rock over here by the entrance is an energy powder, and once you grab that, we can go ahead and surf back over and make our way up this staircase to pick up this protein. From that protein, we're going to go back down the stairs and around over here. Don't fall over the ledge and rock climb your way up. Go up the staircase to the next floor. On the next floor, we're going to make our way over here, pick up this obvious item right here, the Max Repel, and then at the rock that's a little less obvious, you can go ahead and find a red shard. There are two of every shard here in Mount Coronet as well. So we're going to push the boulder down two times, uh, sorry, more than two times, a couple times down here, and pick up the escape rope. I had two shards in my head, and that's what I was thinking about. Anyways, make your way up uh, across the bridge and head south. This is one of my favorite moves. I don't know why I'm not really a rock type user, but I just love rock slide. It's just a really it's a really good move. I really like it. Uh, from there, we're going to make our way up. And over here in the corner, tucked away, you'll be able to find a max revive. And then from there, we're going to kind of loop our way around across the bridge, under the bridge, and through the cracked wall. This wall is locked uh, partially way through the story. You have to unlock a certain part for, the, for you to be able to gain access here. But once you cross through there, just go right across to the next staircase. And at the bottom, hidden on the rock, you'll be able to find a star piece. There's actually quite a few star pieces here as well, which you can turn into shards as well. So back up the staircase. This time we're going to go up and kind of loop our way around. There's a hidden uh, Max Repel there. And then now in this next place is where it gets a little interesting. This is the peak of Mount Coronet. It's a little hard to see, but you're going to make your way across with the grass is and you'll be able to find a max potion in one of the hidden patches. Rock climb up two times in a row to this little like secondary ledge thing. You'll be able to find one energy root right there. And then also on the rock itself, you'll be able to find a star piece. Now we're going to go back to that rock climb section and only go down one layer. And this time we're going to go to the right. This is the fourth floor and there's two entrances that result in different things. This is the east entrance, so we're going to grab the stardust off the rock, rock smash through here, and interact with this rock to find a yellow shard as well. And then we're also going to rock smash the other rock over here and grab, uh, which is hidden on the wall, a uh, heal powder. So from that heal powder, we're going to surf to our left and use waterfall to go up the waterfall here and make our way into this secluded little cave. Inside this cave, you're going to be able to find three items presented. The first is a stone plate hidden on the stone. Fair enough. The one on the left is the adamant orb, which you might know as one of the orbs uh, that helps with the legendary duo in this, well, legendary trio actually in the Gen 4 games. And the other item is the lustrous orb, which is the opposite one. From there, make your way uh, back down the waterfall and back through the exit that we came in. That's not everything for this floor, but that's everything for that section. So once you leave that room, make your way down through the grass over here. And before you go into the next cave, we can rock smash through here. And on this hidden rock, you'll be able to find a hidden blue shard. And then as well in the grass patch that's right above us, you'll be able to find a hidden uh, revival herb. Now we're going to go back into the cave. This time we're in the entrance that... Uh, of the section of the room that we weren't able to be in earlier. Rock climb up the first thing and rock smash through this rock in the corner. On the rock you'll be able to find a hidden sunstone. Lots of evolution items here as well. So 
From that sunstone, uh, you'll be able to find a full heal that's kind of like right above the cave entrance, a little bit to the right. And then uh, down here at this like end of this dead end path, you'll be able to get an ultra ball. Make your way down the staircase, and over here in the corner, there is a max revive. Now that's pretty much everything for this room, so squeeze your way through here and go back out to the entrance. You can rock smash through this cave right here, uh, rock over here, and on the side of the cave you'll be able to find a star piece. Now we're going to make our way up through the grass, past uh, that cave entrance, we're going to come back there later. Grab this moonstone that's on the rock, like I said, another evolution item. Rock climb down, rock climb up to the left, and come uh, on over here. And in this little area, we're going to kind of go into that long horizontal grass patch. You'll be able to find another revival herb right above that rock tile. And then keep going down the staircase, loop around a little bit, and over here, uh, it's kind of hard to explain, like right here in this open horizontal snow space, you'll be able to find a full restore. Then loop your way all the way down to the lowest layer on this side, and you'll be able to get a Stardust. Now from that Stardust, we're going to make our way all the way to the left, and all the way down to this cave entrance, but before we go in, grab this hidden energy root, and then go inside the cave. Now this cave leads to uh, Spear Pillar, which there's not a lot for us to do here except grab this max elixir that's hidden in the hallway continue to the next floor and then in this floor there is a hidden item on the side over here by this rock it's a full restore and there's another hidden item in the next layer up uh, over here also by the hidden rock you'll be able to find a rare candy now we're going to backtrack a little bit because there's nothing uh upstairs from here that's just spear pillar and another empty floor so go all the way back out to that snowy peak location and from this entrance or exit or whatever you would like to call it, it's all perspective, make your way to the right and rock climb your way down here. We're going to go into this cave now. This cave leads back down deeper into the cave. So go ahead and rock climb at the first place you can and we're going to do this little zigzag shape that leads you to this uh, rock over here. Pick up this green shard that is on it. And then from there, we're going to zigzag our way back, and this time go straight up. Kind of hard to explain where exactly it is, so you can see in reference to the stuff on the left, there's a hidden rare candy over here. It's kind of like where that little boulder was. And then we're going to kind of loop our way all the way around. Eventually, you're going to find this rock smashable boulder up against the wall, so guess what? Rock smash through it, grab the green shard in the wall, and then we're going to go up downstairs, and then rock climb once again. Now go down a little bit, we can go ahead and rock smash through this rock, go ahead and rock smash through that rock, and hidden on this boulder in the background is a heal powder, and we're going to do the sim uh, pretty much the same thing to this set over here, rock smash through this rock, and on this boulder over here you'll be able to find a stardust. Next, we're going to go up, and hidden right before the door is a uh, max potion over there, and then you can go through the door. This is back on the first floor, but at the section near Eterna City and Celestic Town. So we can grab TMO2 Dragon Claw, get another good move, and then at this rock right above it, you can pick up a nugget. Now we're going to make our way up through the skinny passageway, strength this boulder up a couple times, strength this boulder to the left a couple times, don't forget to grab this Stardust on the rock right here, of course not, push the boulder all the way to the left, and then we're going to go up over here and in our left side over here, you can find the TM for Rock Polish, which is great. From there, go ahead and make your way over this ledge, and before uh, going out anywhere, you want to grab this energy powder that's on the rock, and we're going to go up over here and rock smash through this rock over here. This will take us to uh, a simple item, I think. Yeah, an ice heal, of course. And then we're going to go to the right side of this cave. Uh, you can go ahead and pick up this escape rope, and then on this rock or boulder over here, you can find a hidden um, star piece. So from that rock, we're going to make our way up now. We're going to push this boulder up a couple times, and then make our way to the left. We're going to rock smash through a couple rocks, and at the end of this hallway, you're going to find a rare candy. Now once we make our way north, this is the part of the route that leads you up to Route 216, the snowy part of... Uh, uh, leading up to snow point so this is the final part of Mount Cornet finally before you go downstairs pick up that red shard that's hidden on the rock and then continue this next room is foggy so you're going to need a Pokemon that knows to move to fog thank you Staravia for your help I really appreciate that defog just to make it a little bit clearer rock smash through that rock and pick up this ultra ball 
Okay, so the next thing we're going to do now is look at the rock below the Ultra Ball, and there's a hidden green shard. There's actually three green shards here. Make our way up, and on this, like, secondary layer, we can rock smash through here, push this boulder up a couple times, and kind of, like, zigzag our way around to grab this uh, soft sand that's by itself. And then we're going to go, like, up, where you see, like, we're up above where we just were. So go all the way around, go up here. And before you do anything, we're going to grab this item that's hidden between these two boulders and the wall. It's a star piece. And then we're going to come up here and push this boulder to the right once and pick up this revive. The next thing we're going to do is make our way over to the right and rock smash through this rock and then make our way down. And of course, rock smash through another rock. We really like those uh, those rock smashable rocks. <laughs> That's when, when you don't really need to do it anymore. But pick up the full restore at the end of that, make our way all the way around and then... Uh, what a surprise, we're going to rock smash through here and then make our way to the right before surfing. You can go ahead and pick up this max elixir. Now, of course, we're going to surf on this beautiful water over here. And in this little island by itself, uh, you can kind of find a light clay. It's kind of a cute little spot. Let's go ahead and surf back over and over, this time to our left. Before we go anywhere, let's rock smash through this rock and hidden in the wall over here is a blue shard. Next, we're going to make our way down and kind of out of this room to the upper area and just keep going up. Before you go to the next floor though, you can actually find a hidden item right before the staircase. It's a rare candy right there. Now we, we are in the tail end. This is almost over. The last thing you want to do is uh, grab this uh, item that's on this rock over here. It's a yellow shard. And then in this next little cavern, uh, there is a nugget, or sorry, there's sorry, it's a actually a never melt ice here. And then, if you want to make one space to the left and two spaces up, you can find a hidden nugget. That's every item in Mount Coronet. I can't believe I did it. Like I said, I saved it for last just because it's an absolute monster. No kidding, that's probably one of the biggest areas in Pokemon. Uh, it competes with the wild area, that's for sure huge it took a lot of work to make this video i hope you enjoyed everybody that's every item in mount coronet and pokemon platinum and as always techno's out